Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 10 out of Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all, and y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on a seven year old girl who was shot in the head by her uncle during a music video. April 13th, 2021, around 7 15 p.m., a gunshot went off inside of a home located at 1202 Ware Ave in Gastonia, North Carolina. Witness reports say a man ran through the glass front door, shattering the glass as he held a limp seven-year-old girl in his arms who'd just been shot in the head. Police questioned Jeremy Lewis, the girl's uncle, and Jarrell Lewis, the girl's father, in the waiting room of the hospital, where she was initially taken before being airlifted to another hospital. Police noted Jeremy's clothes were covered in blood and both of the brothers were uncooperative, telling officers little to nothing about what happened. Jeremy would just keep asking for updates on the status of his niece's health, but things quickly took a turn when officers placed Jeremy under arrest and Jarrell, the girl's father, started fighting with officers. Witnesses at the shooting scene described a music video being filmed in the home with both real and fake guns present in the video. The homeowner allegedly handed Jeremy a firearm, he discharged the weapon in a room, and the bullet traveled through the wall, striking seven-year-old Gabriella Jones in the head. Two iPhones police believed were used to record the music video were taken as evidence from the shooting scene. Jeremy was arrested and charged with discharging a weapon into an occupied building, causing serious injury, assault with a deadly weapon inflicting serious injury, and possession of a firearm by a felon. He'd previously been charged with fraud and carrying a concealed firearm in the past. The father of the child who attacked police for arresting his brother was charged with assault on a government official and resisting arrest, spending only 24 minutes in the Gastonia County Jail before bonding out for $5,000 on two misdemeanor charges. Saturday, April 17th, Gabriella's mother and father made the decision to take her off life support and she passed away. Her uncle was then charged with a second degree murder and is being held on a $750,000 bond. Now first and foremost, the irresponsibility of shooting a music video with a loaded gun. I mean, it's, it's dumb as fuck, right? But shit happens. And this wouldn't be the first time something like this has happened. If you've been rocking with my channel for a minute, you've heard my own personal stories. And there was a point in time where I was inside of a house on the second floor and a gun went off and it went through the floor and it struck a little girl's bed. Her parents weren't home, her father wasn't home. So she was in her little brother's room on his bed. But had she had been in her room laying in her bed, I might have possibly shot her. Purely accidental, no intention, but that's something that I could have done. And I was like 17, 18 when that happened. You know what I mean? And I think about that shit sometimes. How some people find themselves in a situation that they can't reverse and how that very well could have been me. I could have been responsible for taking the life of a little girl. And in this case, family members are saying that this is somebody he loved dearly. His lawyer is saying that he wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, but he also isn't pointing any fingers. But it seems that witnesses that were at the music video were saying the homeowner gave him a gun. He popped it accidentally. It went through the wall and it struck his niece. The uncle is responsible for his niece's own death. And the only thing that I can think of that clearly states it was unintentional is the simple fact that the brother, who was the father of the little girl, was fighting police over the arrest. Do I agree with a charge of second degree murder? I don't. Because there was no intention to kill. It's a little bit different if you're trying to shoot someone, you miss them and you hit an innocent bystander. You still had the intention of killing somebody, you just didn't kill the right person. But to accidentally shoot a gun, 
It's no different to me than being at a gun range and a gun accidentally goes off and you kill your friend or hunting or anything like that is an accident. If anything, you can hit them with a manslaughter charge because that coincides with an accidental death. You didn't do it intentionally, but you still caused the death. Now, I'm not sure if Jeremy himself was a rapper because I couldn't find any of his own social media. I don't know if he was just in someone else's rap video. The girl apparently lived with her father who didn't even live in Gastonia. And you know, they traveled to this house. So I don't know who the responsibility really falls on. If the girl didn't live there, why would you bring a seven year old to a music video where real and fake guns are present? You obviously knew what it was going to be. You obviously saw what it was. I wouldn't want my daughter around a bunch of people waving guns in a fucking video for the simple fact that something like this can happen and not even striking a little girl, anybody could have been shot. And unfortunately, it was the youngest person in the house. With a case like this, I can't even begin to think of what's going through his head mentally knowing that he killed her. He was asking about her, asking for updates, is she okay, before he was arrested. So obviously, he was very fucking concerned. And he has to sit inside of jail thinking about the fact that he's responsible for his seven-year-old niece dying. She went to the hospital. She had a... You know gunshot to the head most likely there was no brain activity she was on life support and the parents made the decision to pull the plug because most likely the doctors told them look even if she bounces back shit isn't going to be the same and the chances of her bouncing back are slim to none it's a terrible fucking accident but it just goes to show you guns are not props guns are not toys if you're gonna use fake guns in a music video you might as well make sure every single gun in that music video is a fake gun because to have one fake one and one real one i don't understand the point some people want real ones so no one watches it and points out like oh that's a bb gun they sell that at dick sporting goods y'all ain't really no killers but at the same time why are y'all trying to portray that y'all are killers because at the end of the day the only person that's died is a seven-year-old little fucking girl, and it's terrible. But this is literally back-to-back -back with the other shooting in Chicago of a seven-year-old girl who was killed because gang members were targeting the father. It's fucking sad. And these kids, the streets ain't sparing them. But hey, it's 1090J. I'm rocking with y'all, and y'all rocking with me. Till next time.